The Potato Chip Champ, Discovering Why Kindness Counts, written by Maria Desmondi and illustrated by Don Beacon. Champ loved potato chips. He ate them on his sandwiches. He crumbled them over his mac and cheese. He mixed them together with ice cream. Champ even dipped chocolate-covered potato chips in ranch dressing. If only his parents would let him eat them all the time. There was only one thing Champ liked more than eating potato chips, and that was playing baseball. He was a good player and he knew it. Everything would have been perfect, except that Walter was on the team. Walter Norbert Whipplemore, to be exact. He was always late for practice. His shoes were dirty, he rode an old broken down bike, and his name was too long to fit on his jersey. Walter was different. But the players on the team all liked him, except for Champ, who had a hard time figuring out why. Champ was shocked when he heard Coach announce the unusual fundraiser one day at practice. Champ knew he had to be the winner because the grand prize was a truckload of potato chips. All he had to do was sell the most boxes of chips to win. Champ noticed Walter was getting more hits than anyone else at practice that day. Everyone but Champ cheered for Walter. Champ rolled his eyes and groaned. After Walter left, Champ met up with Tommy, the catcher. Did you see how rusty Walter's bike is, he sneered. Tommy barked back, you just don't like him because he plays better than you, and he has more friends, too. At school, the boys talked about the fundraiser. I sold five boxes at karate, cheered Tommy. I sold ten boxes, lied Champ. Hey, Walter, you like chips, too. How are you doing? asked Tommy. I'm doing okay. I don't have as much time to sell the chips because I have a paper route, Walter added. Answering with a mouthful of dill pickled potato chips, Champ mumbled, Well, I plan on winning. They call me Champ for a reason. When Champ broke his leg sliding into home plate, he was devastated. He couldn't play ball for the rest of the season and would miss playing in the big game. Champ was so bored. He really missed playing baseball and seeing his friends. He started making up games by nibbling on his chips and making letters out of them. Just as he was making the letter C out of a barbecued chip, there was a knock at the door. Champ peeked out the window. Oh, it's Walter, he sighed. Walter was shivering from the cold rain. Hi, Champ. I brought over some cards. I heard you like to play, said Walter. Sure, if you really want to, Champ answered, wishing anyone but Walter had come over. Hey, why did you ride your bike here, Champ asked. Oh, it's just me and my mom. We either take the bus or I have to ride my bike. Champ couldn't believe what he was hearing. Walter was the only kid he knew whose mom didn't have a car. He thought about how hard that would be to have to ride your bike everywhere. It was the night of the championship game and Walter made the winning hit. Champ wasn't sure which was worse, sitting on the bench or finding out his dream of winning the truckload of potato chips was over. They announced over the loudspeaker that the winner was Walter Norbert Whipplemore. Champ moped around school the next couple of days. Even his favorite tomato-flavored chips didn't cheer him up. Could anyone love chips as much as he did? Champ still wondered why the prize went to someone like Walter and not him. Walter Norbert Whipplemore. He had a name longer than the Mississippi River, and it didn't bother him at all. When Champ got home from school on Friday, there was a huge truck parked in his driveway. Unloading box after box of chips were Coach and Walter. What are you doing? asked Champ. I am giving you all the chips, Walter smiled. Thanks, but before Champ could finish, Walter spoke. Look, I'm crazy about chips too, but you couldn't play ball and it's hard to sell boxes of chips with a broken leg. I know what it's like to really want something. I want you to have the chips. 
but I don't deserve them, Champ stuttered. Right then, Champ looked around his garage and saw a brand new bike, two skateboards, a scooter, and fancy rollerblades. How come he didn't see it before? He felt a tightening in his chest. Champ had so much. Why did he always want more? Standing there in front of Walter was really hard. Walter didn't have anything but an old, rusty bike. All right, we can split them, but I am not leaving here with all these chips, laughed Walter. Deal, answered Champ. You know, Walter, you're the one they should call Champ. Because being a champ isn't about having the nicest things. It's all about who you are. No wonder you have so many friends. The boys shook hands, and that marked the beginning of a new friendship. The end.